last weekend turned into a spontaneous family staycation when my sister, my niece, and nephews decided to come down and treat my dad for a birthday surprise. Even though it was a festive time filled with fun, food, lots of love, and a little bit of competition, we also celebrated in slow and simple ways as well. There's something special about gathering outdoors when the weather is nice to embrace the gift of uninterrupted space for body and soul. When it comes to faith, family, and life in general, slow, intentional living helps me breathe easier. Maybe you can relate? Thanks to my brother and sister-in-law's hospitality, Saturday afternoon turned out to be just that, a simple reset of gratitude and appreciation. As we honored my dad in this transition to a new year, it wasn't what would be considered a milestone birthday. But then again, each year we're blessed to take part in one another's lives is a milestone to treasure and cherish. One of the many things I appreciate about my parents is the way they've prioritized experiences with us above material things. Some of my fondest memories were made along the edge of a lake, a river, a small tree-lined pond, or the vast expanse of a roaring ocean. We've been over the mountains and through the woods, and it hasn't always been fancy. Sometimes it looked like six people crowded into an aluminum john boat getting stranded in a thunderstorm, or an old brown station wagon barely chugging its way up the hills. Other times, we rode in style and embraced a tiny taste of luxury. But either way, what mattered most is that we were together. Whether staycation or vacation, small steps of intention have created a strong family bond. Of course, there are still those days when grown-up little brothers like to scare their big sisters with a snakeskin or something of the sort. I guess simplicity comes in many forms, right? Sometimes simplicity brings small pockets of quiet togetherness that we don't even realize we're craving until it shows up. And now it's special to see family traditions continue with my siblings and nieces and nephews. On the surface, simple living may seem dull or uninteresting. But as the world around us tilts and spins, the benefits of a slow, intentional lifestyle are multifaceted. And I wonder, how do you embrace simplicity these days? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, friends, here are a few excerpts from Scripture to carry through your day. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. The Lord is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. Proverbs 30, verse 8, and Psalm 84, 10 through 12.